It's the 21st of September, 2020, meaning that 19 years ago from this day, I was born. I guess this is a more elaborate way of saying that today, I turned 19. Considering my highly melancholic and emotional nature, it feels only right to make a slightly melodramatic video with the purpose of capturing my life at this exact moment. So, here it goes. This is how I look at 19. This is my hair, currently blonde and freshly cut. Right now, I'm very much into this side front bang situation, however messy and frustrating to stylize it can be. These are my eyes. I'm still unable to tell whether they're more of a green or gray color, but I suppose that's besides the point. On most days, I wear eyeliner, and today's no exception, but you'll rarely spot me wearing a mascara. These are my lips. This is my nose, my collarbones, my chin, my hands. Note to self, start wearing rings. My waist and my short legs. It took me an immense amount of time, self-hatred, therapy sessions and tears to finally be able to say, without hesitation or doubt, that I am okay with my body. This is my favorite body mist and my favorite perfume. This is my most used eyeshadow palette along with my most used shade. These are the clothes I'm wearing at the moment. This is my newest and favorite pair of jeans. This is my most worn pair of shoes and these are the shoes I wear for running. This is my most stylish fall leather coat. It makes me feel put together and classy. This is my closet right now, though most of my stuff is currently packed away, either in boxes or in my enormous brown suitcase. This is because in two days time, I will close the door to my room and make the first step on my way to London, where I'll be living and studying for the next three years of my life. I am equally excited as I am nervous. These are some of my best friends. Disregarding the cheesy nature of this statement, I love them to death and I am unbelievably grateful for their presence in my life. This is my room. It is unusually messy right now, but I still love spending my time alone here, reading books, meditating, watching YouTube videos, dancing, watering my plants and journaling. I will surely miss it. This is all of me, at least for the time being. If you would ask me what I'm thinking right now, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you. My mind is in the state of constant race, with countless thoughts, observations and emotions clashing together to make up my personality. Being an overthinker used to bother me a lot, but not so much anymore. After all, I can either fight it and suffer along the way, or accept it and try to make sense of it all. When it comes to life in general, I'd rather take the second approach. I feel like there is no proper way of ending this video, so for now I'll just say goodbye and I'll see you very soon. Bye!